Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm back. I got this in the mail today and I realized I haven't done a vlog in almost two weeks time. I thought I'd do a quick vlog on what growing up in Montreal was like and how that affected me. Or how you can use where you're from to help you come up with ideas for songs or videos or, or vlogs or whatever else that you'd like to be doing. Alright, cool. Here I go. You're walking down the street. Been working overtime. I was thinking about how being from Montreal changed my view on the world, really. It's a big enough town, but it's it's still small compared to places like New York and even Toronto at this point. Although when I was growing up, Toronto and Montreal were about the same size. And then due to politics and all the rest of it, uh, a lot of people left Montreal and went to Toronto. So there, Toronto became like a megalopolis after that. But giving you ideas for, for things to do for your own vlogs and for uh, future vlogs for yourself, I kind of went back to what, what, I, what I used to do as a kid. I used to love horror movies, and I remember my parents would put me to bed early, and then I'd get up at 11.30 at night to watch uh, the old horror films on Channel 6 and CBC in Montreal. Montreal's first English language television station goes on the air. CBMT Channel 6. I am... Dracula. This is CBC. That was one of the things that sort of mapped what I was going to do for the rest of my life. You know, like these crazy movie things and knowing about film and that, that sort of thing came largely from those days. And I remember uh, as a kid going to get Famous Monsters of Filmland magazine and being allowed to ride the subway on my own to go down to Peel Street where there was one shop that had it and there was another one at Atwater. <laughs> For us Montrealers, you know what that means. I grew up in Long Gale, so it was a long ride. For people that are from Montreal, using your own backgrounds and, and whatever t turned you on when you were a kid and whatever was around you uh, should help to, uh, to give you ideas for 2018 coming up. Also the boxing and Muhammad Ali, uh, you know, going to see the fights at closed circuit. Uh, you know, before um, before the television even had them, um, there was White World of Sports <laughs> on, uh, on on TV. But the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. But they would only show the fights after they happened. So if you wanted to see something in Montreal, you had to get down to the forum, maybe, or where, wherever it was showing the closed circuit. Pay money to go watch it. Because I watched Evil Knievel jump and miss over that canyon, whatever it was, many, many years ago. There was the Olympics in Montreal in the 70s. Myself and my friend Roshan found a way into the Big O. And we were kids. Yeah, just by climbing over a couple of fences and whatnot. We got into the Big O and I saw a bunch of the fights. I saw most of the boxing. It was constantly running into famous people because everyone was there for the Olympics. I met Howard Cosell and George Foreman and uh, Andy Williams. So Montreal is kind of an interesting place. So um, go back and look around at, at what happened in, in, your, uh, in your young days and see if there's anything there that will help you to uh, get new vlogs out this year and uh, have ideas for things to do. Use all of those things. Uh, I know I'm hoping to uh, make this year a, a really great one for this vlog and for all my friends and the rest of it. See you in a bit. In certain cases where I feel like he has been coming to I find it, it's kind of pointless to tell me a joke without telling me the punchline. And there's one thing on my 